on the crazy meter, Milch or him? Who's higher? Oh, on the crazy meter. Oh no 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 no. That's that's an unfair. Look, they're both. They're <laughs> that's both. Good. That's good. Listen, I uncorked that's good. that one. That's good. Huh? On the All crazy right. meter? Yeah. No no. They're both fully eccentric meter. Listen. Yes. We're talking about forces of nature. Yes. Major forces of nature. Yes. Fully committed. Okay. And this is what we love. This is what we love oh, about them. That's true. They're both showing you a way to do things that you had not had never occurred to you was mm -hmm. even possible. They're creating the, the the example I gave with Milch writing in pencil and me going to other shows and saying, "No, we could, you know, we can fix <laughs> can this." And they're like, right. "No, you can't." And you're like, "No, I've seen it. I've seen mm -hmm. it. Be, I've seen it done." Uh, uh, Quentin is a, a, a similar animal. He's 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 his set is a set unlike anything I've ever been on. There is, um, he's operating by a set of rules that um, he's, you know, that you just, I've never seen on any other set. And, okay. I, and likewise, I've gone to other sets since being on that one. Uh-huh. Like a total, what, what's our, we're not swearing on this no, particular not, not episode. No, not on this particular, but if you want to stay like fries in overtime. Capital, to... like, you know, like rhymes with tick. I just went in like a total rhymes with tick and yeah. said, hey, Guys, how about no cell phones on the set? And they're, they're like, what? And I was like, no, I've seen it. Uh, Quentin, he's got no cell phones allowed on Are the set. Are you serious? No cell phones allowed None. on the set? None. You fired. Really? Fired. No kidding. Cell phone out. Done. No warning. Nothing. You're going home. I'm not telling tales outside. No, but so wow, this is what it is. No, but, is it, but you're aware of that going in, right? You're, you're told that's the There is the a rule. outside the set. Mm -hmm. It would be like here on our lovely little set. Yes. We would have a little booth outside out there on East Douglas, yes. whatever we call it over here. <laughs> by the FedEx. <laughs> by the FedEx. <laughs> FedEx. Yeah. A little booth over there. Yeah. For, for everyone to check their phones in. And that's where all your all our phones would be out there on the on Douglas Street. If you needed to make a phone call, you go out to the street and you make a phone call. Now, is that for to to, to remain focused or to make sure that nobody's sneaking any any shots no, off the set I don't and think, posting it? No, and, I, I don't think it has anything to do with uh, uh, people filming or taking pictures. I think it's about creating an environment where while we're all here making this thing, that's what we're all going to do. We're going to make this thing. We're not going to be. We're not going to be over there doing some other thing, Instagramming or, or you know, working on your next script or right. talking to your agent. No, we're here, and this is what we're doing. And we're, we're going to take it really seriously. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a tr the most fun taking this job so everyone's in it. And I, I, I don't know how it comes across. It was one of the greatest gifts that I think he gave the – that he gives the entire crew I could, I could, and all the actors. I could see how it creates an environment that is um, unique. It's in the Deadwood movie. Milch talks about it actually. Now they mention it. There's mm -hmm. a the telephone is coming to That's right. to Deadwood. Yes, right. And uh, Swearingen's got a monologue that talks about every man worth his salt. Right, mm -hmm. knows the value of being uh, unreachable. Right to to be able to shut it down. It's in the movie. He's talking about the same thing I'm talking about. This is where these two men are alike. They both appreciate the value of not being interrupted Reach. by. Where are we on the swearing thing? No, 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 it's no, not no, swearing no, no, no. BS. You can say BS. Yeah. They're, they you don't want to be you don't want the BS involved. And so both those men I've been lucky enough to be around and work with. So um, what are happen? creating this environment? Now, I know you're not on social media, Timothy. So uh, what if there was a sound person on the show <laughs> or the movie set who wasn't paying attention like right now uh, because he was on a Twitter <laughs> account, <laughs> a, a Twitter account, a Twitter account dedicated to a pug named Doug. Yeah, I love Doug the pug. So he would if this was Tarantino rules on the yeah, Rich Eisen I, show set, he would be fi he, fired. Fired. I was there Ow. one day. The phone went off. Uh -oh. My phone went off. Yeah, it was back in the. It was back in the. It's like a block down. All of a sudden, we were, we were all talking. We we're all in it. Phone went off. Oh man, it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just took off running. Took off. It was. It was wonderful. And I, I mean, it's. It's just. I have to tell you, it was. A, it, that is one of. That I could go all day about what it's like to work with the man. But that is one thing where. He is. Uh, he's decided to march to the beat of his own drum to say no on on this set. 
that's we just don't we I don't care what's going on out in every everywhere else in the world. On this set, we're here. We're making this movie. He loves making movies. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.